Yeah, that sounds that sounds really nice. <clears throat> okay, this one's a really interesting one. And I'm going to say that there's going to be no roof on this one. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do? You could not fail. If you tried to fail, you would fail at failing. You know, you would succeed at failing, but then you would fail. Oh my god, I ended up creating a conundrum. <laughs> but yeah, if you knew you couldn't fail. Um... Oh, yeah. You know, that's something that we're trying. Let's see. If I knew I couldn't fail, what would I do? Ooh, there's so many possibilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say save the world. I could save the world. I then go over to the wall, and there's like a little switch that says chaos and then the other side of the switch is safe and I just flip it to safe and I was like eh, that's the next thing I'm gonna do <laughs> um but yeah like if there was like a cataclysmic event and then I just had like one pass that's what I would do what is the best thing that happened to you this week This week, going back to last Tuesday. Oh, okay. No idea. <laughs> no idea? Yeah. Well, I got something that uh, good happened to me. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, like, uh, I told you about me making mead, homemade mead. Ah, uh, yeah. And I made it out of a pickle jar that I drilled a hole and put a rubber uh, support around the whole edges so that it would be a little bit airtight. And then I put a bubbler in the top. And so for the first couple of days, for the first couple of days, it, it, it never bubbled. The bubbler didn't go off. It, it just wasn't going up. So what I did is that I took a candle. This was probably about a month ago, and it's it's going to be building up to, like, last week on uh, Tuesday. Actually, exactly since Tuesday. And, like, it wasn't bubbling at all, so I took a candle, and then I lit it, and then I sealed around the edge of the bubbler and the little rubber stop thing, and I made it airtight, and then it started bubbling. And then, say, probably about... Uh, uh, a little less than two weeks ago, it just stopped bubbling again. So, like, fortunately, there was this lady who gave me these uh, little booster things for making wine, where it, like, cuts down the sulfuric acid in the mixture, and it also gives it some more yeast... Well, you add it to yeast, and it, like, super enhances it. So I put that in a week ago, uh, t a little bit more than a week ago. And then on Tuesday, I uh, did the first racking, and I took a sip of that shit. It made my head spin, guy. So I put it in a jar, and then I took it to my father because my father requested it of me. And took a orange and a few raisins, put it in there for its second racking. Because you never put the fruit in with the first racking. Because then it just completely overpowers everything. It also has a chance of making it too acidic with the uh, orange. And, ooh, you got a package. Mm -hmm. you got some headphones. Really nice. Uh... So that was my accomplishment of the week is that I made hooch. You think of something good that happened to you this week?
gotten a better uh, software. Ooh, software for editing. Oh yeah, the the Adobe Premiere. Nope. Oh man, yeah. I like it's it's kind of like a learning curve because before me and Jared, we we were just using like a. Uh, like uh, Windows Mo Movie Maker, yeah. And now we're using Adobe Premiere Pro, and I'm going to school to learn how to use that better. And then I'm I'm hoping that I can pass on what I learned to Jared here. But the amount of control, ah! right? Ah! <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay. Here, here's here's a good one for you. Would you rather be the smartest moron or the dumbest genius? Uh, moron. Smartest moron? Mm hmm. Mm. <coughs> so that's that, that's going along that saying is that. Uh, what? Oh man, I completely forgot the saying that it was going to be. So essentially, you would be the authority in a room full of drooling idiots. And you would be the drilling idiot in uh, the room when you're the dumbest genius. Like, well, you would be looked upon as the drilling idiot, but you would probably be, I don't know, you would probably have a doctrine or something like that. So that would probably put you above the average of everyone else. But among the scientific community, that would be like, this guy's a fucking moron. But then again, they're probably used to, uh, like, being considered everyone who's not a genius a fucking moron. So they're like the 1% or something like that. Uh-oh, your computer's sparking. Yep. That's not good. So that's a, that's a moral debate. Would I be happy in both situations? Like, if I was the dumbest genius, would I be content with my life and I would just go home? at the end of the day and like uh be with my family and then go out and have an ice cream go to a theme park say probably about two times a year if i was the smartest moron like uh i i think i would have a false sense of intelligence or maybe i would just be horribly frustrated with all the dumb people around me <laughs> oh man that's a good good question you said smartest moron right You know what? I think I'm going to say the same thing, too. Yeah, because that, like, has some sense of equilibrium. I I, I don't know. That's, that's a really tricky question. What is your favorite song of all time? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Long Black Train. Let me look that up. Mine happens to be uh, uh, Come On Eileen from, let's see, Josh Turner. Because yep. there's victory in the Lord, I say. Victory in the Lord. Cling to the Father in his holy name. And don't go riding on that long black train. It was released in 2003. Eh. I'm not really into country, but I have to respect you for your preferences. It, it doesn't look bad. Well, at least, like, uh, the quality that it was made looks good. But who did Come On Eileen? It, it, it isn't the new rendition where it's like... Uh, I forgot the music style. There's like a lot of uh, metal horns and it's like usually associated with California or San Diego. Not San Diego, San Francisco. San Diego and San Francisco is like nothing alike. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eileen. Uh, Dex's Midnight Runners 
is the one who came out uh, with it. Yeah. I think you were there when I got this earworm. And I literally was driving myself nuts. And I remember vividly of you be like, Gordon, you got to stop seeing that or I can't talk to you because every other sentence coming out of your mouth is a reference to that song. And I was like, it is driving me nuts, Jared. And then it was like a recreation of that scene from. Uh... Oh, wait, I don't remember what it was. It, like that baby that's crawling on the ceiling and it's like spins his head around but instead of like uh, it making baby noises it's just singing that song describe your perfect day uh, you first oh okay I would wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning I would then take a shower I would eat, hmm, fried chicken and waffles. Um, I would then go out for a walk. And the temperature would be, say, probably about 67 to 70 degrees. And I would see the sunrise. Um, on a perfectly mowed hill, and it would be a nice sidewalk that would be on the top of the hill. And then I would probably drink coffee and, uh, watch something entertaining. Just, like, some small thing that would probably last about 30 minutes. Hmm... I would probably make a episode and then I would just leave it for the next day. Just play a game because like uh, it's fun to play the game. But then when you get a little bit of a back backlog and you need to make a make an episode for that day, it's sort of a little strenuous feeling. So there would be a backlog. I guess. I would uh, walk around town and uh, be able to buy things that I wouldn't have to worry about financially. Ooh, getting the uh, gibliness, gibliness. I don't know what that is. It, it, like, I think it's like talking. <coughs> um, and then I would probably eat out uh, for dinner. I don't want pizza. I would probably get like, I don't know, something with substantial veggies because I don't know about you, Jared, but when I grew up, I hated vegetables, but now vegetables, fresh produce is a goddamn luxury. I look forward to the days when I uh, can get spinach in particular. So let's say a chicken pip, uh, spinach salad. And then... I would probably have like three beers and then go to sleep without uh, too much trouble. And also it's nice and cool. And fortunately for me, I have an air conditioner. So I'm like, what? What's one of the requirements? Uh, one out of uh, 29 things. Um, do you think you could piece together a perfect day or do you think that's like, eh, I don't know, like uh, a day that I don't die, a day that I'm not shot? Uh, the day that I, the days that I wake up. Is there the you go. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> Valid point. Hey, how's Harold? Oh, he's having a bad day. He died. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, do you think you'll get better? Have you ever been to the emergency room? What for? 